Hey guys, it's Archie Luxury. Archie Luxury from the Archie Luxury channel, the Paul Pluter channel, and Archie Luxury corporate. Guys, keep watching, keep watching. I need the viewers. I need the viewers, I need the subs, I need it. Like, subscribe, and tell your friends. Tell your friends, whether you like them or hate them. Just tell them anyhow. Archie Luxury on YouTube. Hi guys, Archie Luxury on the Archie Luxury Paul Pluto channel. Today I'm doing paid review 20 SE50. 20 SE50. This is for Nine Finger Max. Nine Finger Max. And uh, this collection here that I am reviewing today, this is a, uh, a very, very interesting, interesting collection indeed there. Uh, we've got we've got a big selection of some really cool pieces and I these big collections I tell you what this is the way it is man people there are some serious coin people have serious coin and they want to pump it into watches and can you blame them in the least for doing this I don't think you can it's a very good hobby to have there so I'm just going to um, I'm just going to read you read you the, uh, the 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 email. Hey Archie, I would love for you to do a review and post a video. I'm 38 year old male from uh, L I N Y, whatever that is, some part of New York, and I'm an avid viewer of your videos and love watches. I've been collecting for about 10 years now, and have a pressing question. I currently own two Rolex Submariner Hulks. One I got on the grey market for 12000 back in 2012. And the other new at retail, I've been offered 20000 to sell the grey market one. <clears throat> I don't really want to sell, but it's a good price seeing as I, don't, I didn't pay that much for it. Should I sell it or should I hold out for the long run i first got into watches in 2009 my wife and i was walking through the mall and we stopped at macy's and i was checking out the tag hoya collection and she ended up getting me getting me an aqua racer <clears throat> for my birthday at the time i thought it was a great watch and was watching your channel i realized there was much better watches to own so that was the start of my journey into watches. My collection consists of, here we go, here we go, here's the collection. We've got an Amiga Speedmaster, Man on the Moon. Yes, yes, we do indeed. We've got a Rolex Submariner Hulk. We've got a, the new Submariner Hulk. We've got a Black Daytona with ceramic bezel. Black Daytona with ceramic bezel. Yes, yes, the black, black, yes. The Sea Dweller 50th Anniversary. Yes. We've got the Black Bay 58 Blue. Black Bay 58 Blue. Yes, we, 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 we do. Yes, yes, we do. We've got the GMT Root Beer. Yes, that's the two-tone GMT. Batman. We've got a Rolex Batman on the Jubilee. <clears throat> We've got a Carl F. Butchard Monero Flyback Knot. I'm not a huge fan of these, to be totally honest, but um, that's okay. You've got one of those. Yachtmaster, <clears throat> sorry, Datejust Wimbledon Dial 41 mil. Yes, Sir, <laughs> Yachtmaster Silver Dial, yes, and the Yachtmaster 2 Stainless Steel. I think you got a bit more than that, because you, you, you've also got, what else have you got there? You've also got, you've got a White Dial Pam, okie dokie. You have got a Black Dial Pam, No Date Sub. No date ceramic sub. Pepsi. Tudor GMT Pepsi. And you've got it on a Jubilee. Explorer 2. Um, so you, yeah, okie dokie. So you've got a, a bit of a collection there. I certainly would, um, would say that. So 
I gotta say, very nice collection indeed there, Mike. Very nice collection indeed. Um, what do I think? What do I think? Well, I, I, I gotta tell you, I think you've got all your bases covered there. Look at that. You have got a good assortment of, you know, when you look at a collection, you look at the Rolex and say, what do we got in GMTs? Looking at your GMTs, you've got an Explorer 2, you've got a two-tone root beer, you've got a Tudor Pepsi, Tudor Pepsi. So you've got three good GMT watches. Then we look at this and say, what have we got in divers? Divers. So divers, we look at it, we go, we've got a Yacht Master. We have got two, a Hulk and a Kermit. We've got a Tudor 58. We've got a Sea Dweller and a No Date Submariner. Six good divers. Then we look at this and say, what have we got in chronographs? We've got a Daytona Ceramic Black. We've got a Speedmaster Man on the Moon, Man on the Moon, and we've got a a uh, a Carl, a Carl Brashear, Carl, Carl, Carl Butchered, Carl. Yeah, not not a big fan of that Carl thingy you've got in the corner there. Uh, nothing great about that. Just that's that's kind of my opinion, but. Okay, that's 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 quite okay. Um, I think you got a great selection of Rolex. I I would tend to say um, my advice to you. I think you got some nice Tudors. I'd get rid of I'd get rid of some of the garbage. The garbage that I see is that Carl Butcher, the Carl Boucher, Boucher. Get rid of that garbage. And everything else I quite like. Besides that Carl garbage, I, I like everything else about this collection is amazing. Rolex, you've got even the Pams. I don't even mind the... I'm not even going to make a comment about the white dial Pams. I'm not even going to complain about the white dial. Hashtag white dial privilege. Um... It's a really good, nice collection. Solid and robust. Now, to answer your question, you're asking me the question there. Uh, you've got two submarine. You've got a Hulk. And you've got a Kermit. You've got two greens, I should say. And you're, you're asking me... Um, oh, are, they, are, they, are they Hulks or why not? I don't... Anyhow, I, I can't... From the picture, I, I can't exactly tell there but look okay you got two and would would you sell it but my answer to you is no 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 if you need the money that's a different thing but if you're asking me should you sell it no why would you sell it I would just keep it it's a bit of an investment for a rainy day um, I don't think the price Rolex look Rolex hulks Kermit's Batmans, Pandas, you know, that they, they are Daytonas, they are very, very speculative and very, very high. Would I be selling out? No. 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 I, I would say to you honestly, just just hold. Hold. Get rid of that stupid Carl Butcher. Get rid of that stupid thing. Uh, but I, I wouldn't be selling. I'd I'd be holding. I think you've got a beautiful collection. A lot of money, a lot of money. I would be holding. That's what I would be doing. Just enjoy your watches, love them. And why do you have to sell? Why? 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 Why do you have to sell it? I I think you've got a nice selection. I really love this collection. Look, you've got everything. Dress watch. You've got the the date just Wimbledon. Uh, and I and I and I'd also say the yacht master's kind of semi date uh, semi dress watch, semi diet you know, it's a cool upmarket genre. You've got everything, all the bases covered, a beautiful collection. Uh, I wouldn't be selling. The only thing I would possibly do, you got the root beer, I would add a bluesy, a bluesy sub, wouldn't it be great to have a bluesy submarina? That would be a cool thing to have in that box because you've got the two-tone 
and a little bit down the track. We've always got to have goals, whether you hit them or don't hit them. I reckon you need, I reckon a Sky Dweller would be the piece of a lot of resistance. Just, I don't care if you get the steel one, the two tone, or you get the solid gold. I reckon that's, it's always good to have some dreams there. This is a very beautiful collection. It's got bang, it's got impact. It's a lot, a lot of money in this collection. Beautiful, beautiful collection. We've got, excusing that Carl garbage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen very decent, beautiful watches. Sixteen. Um, absolutely gorgeous. I can't I can't fault that at all. I think that's a it's a beautiful, beautiful selection there. Uh, I wouldn't be selling, man. Don't sell. These are, this is your hobby. Just, just, just keep hold, hold with watches. Just hold. Now's not the time to be doing silly things. So, I gotta say, beautiful collection. I love this collection. Absolutely big money collection. Well done. You're very doing very very well. Um, so I gotta say, man, I salute you. What a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful collection. I really love it. I love it. So, guys, there you go. That's a collection review. Um, what would I add? I always add, well, I said I'd add a blue sheet and I'd add a, a Sky Dweller as a grail. Uh, would I add a paddock? Look, if you're going to add a paddock, I'd add a white gold 5130. That's a world time, not the current model, the previous version, which was 39 and a half mils. Big, boisterous, and it would fit in with the, the spirit of this collection. Okay, guys, let's wrap it up. That's been a paid review. Guys, like, subscribe, tell your friends. Don't be afraid to put some comments, good, positive, or negative. Put them down below. And, guys, remember, I can't survive on Google Ads alone. These paid reviews keep me on the tubes. Without these paid reviews, I would sink. I would sink. I really need these paid reviews to keep me full-time on YouTube. Remember guys, 50 US dollars, I'll do a review, I'll tell you what I think, share it with your friends, and enjoy life. I'm Archie Luxury, tell me what you guys think of that. Hi guys, Archie Luxury, and who do I recommend in America? In America, who do I recommend for quality pre-owned wristwatches? David SW, David SW, David SW. Go to davidsw.com. He is the best, the greatest pre-owned dealer in all of the United States of America. David SW, David SW, David SW. Hey guys, Archie Luxury. Who do I recommend for watches in Brisbane and Sydney? Vintage Watch Co. That's correct. Vintage Watch Co. in Brisbane Arcade in Brisbane and the Strand Arcade in Sydney. Vintage Watch Co. Brisbane and Sydney. Ronnie, I've known him since the late 90s. Ronnie is a top bloke. Luke is a great guy. Vintage Watch Co. That is who I recommend in Australia. Check out Vintage Watch Co. and the guys' amazing range of watches. They also do service and repairs. Vintage Watch Co. That is where the pontiff goes. You know, some of my paddocks came from Vintage Watch Co. That's right, guys. Vintage Watch Co.